Welcome to the German Research Center for Geosciences in Potsdam, GFZN for short, located on the Telegrafenberg in a historic science campus surrounded by forest. At the GFZ, scientists study the dynamics of planet Earth, not just the solid Earth and the surface on which we live, but also the hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere, as well as the chemical, physical, and biological processes that connect them. Among others, Earth observation is a key technique for understanding the Earth, and it has a long tradition here on Telegrafenberg. Besides the GFZ, there are other research centers here on campus, such as the Alfred Wegener Institute for Polar and Marine Research and the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research, along with historic buildings like the famous Einstein Tower. At the section of Remote Sensing and Geoinformation at GFZ, the NMAP Science PI, together with a team of researchers has been involved in the scientific preparation of the NMAP hyperspectral mission since 2003. Next to defining scientific objectives and requirements of the mission and the development of the science program, they have been working on data product validation, training, and dissemination. The GRZ group is responsible for method developments for soil and geology applications. In this course, you are going to meet the soil working group. This is Professor Sabine Chabria. Besides her position as NMAP Scientific PI, she is Professor for Digital Soil Mapping at the Leibniz University Hanover and GFZ Potsdam in Germany, and Head of the Hyperspectral Working Group at the GFZ. Together with her team, she is developing algorithms for the derivation of various soil properties from hyperspectral data. And this is Robert Mileski. He did his PhD in the Soil Working Group of GFZ with a focus on Namibia salt pan analyses and continues to work on soil degradation and soil property mapping projects from optical and thermal hyperspectral remote sensing. Robert is very experienced in soil spectroscopy and field campaigns and has been working in many parts of the world. Catherine Ward is, as of publication of this MOOC, about to finish her PhD on soil organic carbon quantification using lab, airborne and spaceborne hyperspectral data and various methodological approaches. These are Saskia Furster and Arlena Brzezinski. Yes, you know them from the other HyperEDU courses. If their many tasks in the NMAP mission science support and the HyperEDU program allow, they actually both have been working on soil erosion and sediment transport topics, especially in dryland areas in Spain and Brazil. The team is supported by several student assistants, especially during field and laboratory work, as well as data preparation. In this course, we'll meet Christopher Loy. He has been supporting the hyperspectral working group at the GFZ for several years, and is currently working on his master's thesis on soil mapping from NMAP data in the Atacama in Chile. And my name is Charlie. You might remember me from previous Beyond the Visible MOOCs. Today, I will guide you through the course of imaging spectroscopy on soil applications that the colleagues at GFZ compiled for you. Together, we will explain some basics, acquire data in the field, and guide you through some exercises that were specifically designed for this course.